Hello everyone, this is Karsten. Welcome back to No. Hello everyone, this is Karst, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. So, last episode we kind of explored the rest of the coastline area, for the most part at least, and eventually found our way into the actual refugee section. So, that said, I've kind of I saved a kid from some um, some harpies, and I'm going to go back investigate the beach. I'm going to consider doing this as a thing. I still need to bring uh, Lazal to Zoru. And then, of course, I'm also given access to the Grove now as well, which I do want Should to go and visit. So I think I'm going to talk to the kids first. Um, oh, actually, I'm going to look at what's up here first before I get sidetracked. Hello, folk sons of Faerun. Curse to put my hands on everything. The book is a clear work in progress through already extensive chronic... Uh, oh. The book is a clear work in progress, though already extensive, chronicling various musical styles and notation from across Faerun. Amid the orderly symbols and blackened ink, one page stands out. It is a wash in color and meandering arcs. The script below reads, My Kunid Song, by Ogma. I hear it, and I see it, and I know it, and I feel it, but I can't write it. Or can I? Okay. Oops. I'll pick it up and sell it. I'll take those. Okay. Oh, and I'll take this chest as well. Oh no. I might have to unlock it. Seek and you shall find You're me. up, Asterion. Should be easy. Uh I'm plus eight, and with guidance, we should be alright. We better be alright. Oh jeez. That'll do, thank you. Tap of curing, okay. Um, soothing songs. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain one to six hit points. This is going to go to Gale because I have no bards, and he can destroy it later. Is that a thing that? Actually, no. I think I should hold it in my inventory and then give it to him in a conversation. I think that's kind of how that's supposed to work. Things have stayed interesting. So let's roll with ready. that. Hmm. Okay. Don't mind me. I'm gonna walk past everyone. I'm just here to talk to the kids. I think. Investigate the beach. Well, he's prob. Mole is probably here in the hole. Oh, there's Doni. I need to talk to Doni actually. Yeah, I can't use that right now. Hey, Doni. Didn't you pickpocket me or something? You like disappeared when I tried talking to you. Hello. Uh, hello? Or no? Insight time. Where the hells did you disappear to before? I have insight. I'm not sure why I'm not getting guidance, but sure. Oh, come on. Critical failure. Roll again. Watching his hands, you realize he's miming opening something. Ooh. Is it a chest or a door? Can you show me where it is? I would appreciate if I had guidance. I mean, it's probably the hole that we found. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Oh. Hey, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> Hello? Uh, 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 uh. His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. Alright. I would like... oh. What happened to the whole, um... Oh, what happened to the show me the dragon's door? I guess that, that would be it, right? 
Yeah, I guess that would be it. Tiefling hideout. New location. Well, I guess I can jump right over there to a wicker chest, which is what I will do. Target is too far. I can't jump that far. Hmm. Really? Maybe someone else with more strength can do it? Not enough space. Looking ahead. Watch your back. Target too far. Hmm. Maybe if we brought the um the warrior over, that could do. Have to keep going. I'm going to temporarily get rid of Asterion and replace him with um with Lazelle. I need her to talk to Zoru anyway, so I may as well do that. All right. Uh, which one is Asarian? There you are. I noticed the, uh, the corpse is gone. At least there's that going for us. The bloodstain has followed us inside, though, apparently. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already. Is there a problem? Stay in the camp, please. Uh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. Yeah, just I stay here. guess I'll... It sounds... Yep. Uh, that's right, I picked up a new party member as well. I kind of forgot about that. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Will. I guess I should pick you up. What are you, exactly? You are a human. Yeah, we knew that. And that's all I know. Pretty sure he's the druid, though. Uh, Miss Githyanki, I need you. The Githyanki people have a word for men like the Blade of Frontiers. Shalak, roughly um, translated, idealist do-gooder, or better yet, benevolent burden. His confidence is an asset. His pursuit of valor, not so much. You have low opinions on everyone that I like in my party. It is done. But join me for now anyway. Why did you just gain 800 experience? Why? What happened? Is it because she's been out of the party for a while? Probably. What do you have opinions the about? The Blade of Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. Yeah, I want to rephrase my question. I was going to ask her, hey, what's your opinion on Will? And it came out completely wrong. Do you have dialogue? Thy will, dost nope. thou require a new... Bye. Uh, and then Gail, what do you think of Will? <clears throat> I've known a few warlocks in my time. Talented. Of course, they're sometimes too eager to listen to the devils. On oh, he's their a shoulders. warlock. Okay, <laughs> comes with the territory, unfortunately. Okay, let's chat, Will. How are you, and what makes you tick? The Blade of Frontiers at your calling. That is an eminent title. Um. I'll tell him about all this stuff. I didn't kill Alfira. He doesn't even. Oh, I know. He he would know who Alfira is. Never mind. Uh, how does the Blade of Frontiers end up chasing a devil in the hells? Karlak's fires raged in Baldur's Gate before she escaped to Avernus, as my source told it, and she was planning to return. One of the archdevil Zariel's own. Chaos incarnate, a devil with pure fire for a heart. I made my way to Avernus to stop her. She fled from my reach. Even climbed aboard the Mind Flayer ship as it screeched through the hells. I followed in close pursuit. I can't bear to imagine the lives Karlak might be taking. The damage she might be doing. I'm thinking that there may be a uh, misunderstanding here, because she is a potential companion. Um, who is the source of yours? A powerful friend with a keen interest in... ...privacy. I'm sworn to say no more. Okay. Uh, let's move on to other matters, apparently. Alright. Anything more we should discuss? Yes. Uh, yes, tell me, Will. How did you come to be the Blade of Frontiers? My father once said... One does not pursue a champion's life. One merely answers its call. So it was for me. I was hunting near the Cloakwood when I heard it. 
A child crying out from a lone farmstead. I found him in the fields flanked by goblins. His mother's corpse bled into the soil next to him. I don't remember much of the battle, but I remember drying the boy's tears after. What act should be finer than saving a life? You must have felt proud. Proud? No. Angry. Angry at the monsters preying on innocence. Angry at the so-called good gods for tolerating the cruelty of the evil. Angry at myself that it took so long for me to see the coast suffering. The frontiers demanded a blade. And so I heeded. So I assume that the name stuck. People started calling you that, and then you just rolled with it. Uh, and before that? Baldur's Gate, born and raised. The only son of a single father. He wanted one life for me. I chose another. We haven't spoken since I left the city. A classic drama. <laughs> a staunch father and his rebellious son. Better heard from the bard's lips than mine. I smell a future companion quest. Um, I've noticed you're stone-eyed. Did you lose it in battle? A most vicious one, in fact. It's made from pure bloodstone. Carved from the Galena Mountains just north of the Moon Sea. A reminder that sometimes blood must be shed and sacrifices must be made. Ah, but that story is reserved for lifetime friends and calmer days. Fair enough. Let's talk about something else. By all means. Anything more we should discuss? Yes. I don't suppose you've come across an expert healer in your travels. <laughs> I've come to know a fair few village clerics, but none with the skill to pull these worms from our heads. From what I understand, there's a healer called Nettie in the Grove. Perhaps she's got the talent. Perhaps. We should pay her a visit. And we will. Um, I've got no memory of my past. Could the Parasite have done this? Seems unusual to me. Then again, we're talking about tadpoles inserted into our brains by rubber-skinned tentacle monsters. There's nothing usual about it. All the more reason to stick close. I think you'll agree. I've got this bloodthirst, an urge to destroy, maim, kill. Anger. I understand. We've been preyed on by elithids, suffered insertion of a mind-bending worm. Bloodthirst is another matter. But perhaps not too big of one, if it's a devil or demon's flesh you're wanting to tear. This is the part where I bring up Alfira. I didn't kill her, I swear it. Is that so? Maybe that's fear of false accusation I hear in your voice. Or maybe it's guilt. Whichever is true, I will not stand for more innocent blood being shed in our camp. Fair enough. Uh, I would like you to join me, but I don't know who to replace for you. Because Gale is pretty quintessential. I guess I could drop Lazel and roll with uh, Will, but if I do that... Because right now, again, with Astarian in the party, he's pretty good because he, obviously he's my lock picker and stealth attacker, so he does like a lot of damage and stuff. So I'm not quite sure what to do with her or, or with him. I'm gonna roll with Lazel for now. I'm sure I'll have opportunities to take him out onto the field, but he might actually just stay in the camp forever, unfortunately. Uh, how do I leave this area again? Leave the camp. Nice. Okay, so your strength, does that let you jump farther? Almost. It's still too far. Just too far. Yeah, no, I can't, I can't cheat my way over. Okay. Fine, maybe I can make my way up here. Not enough space, path is interrupted. Okay, fine. No time to rest. All right, enough of that then. Let's uh, no talk to the kids. Forward. I assume this is where the kids are hiding out. Where is everyone? Oh, there they are. Anything down here? Mm. Anything I can climb? But oh, what the camera, please? All right, who are you? Hey, mole. Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. Mercon says you got him out of a tight spot with some harpies. 
Gotta say, I'm impressed. And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. Hey, more reactivity to my uh, my decisions. Good stuff. Um, why are you running all these schemes and swindles? It's risky, you know. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Boulder's Gate. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? A little, yes. Yes, uh, you're taking advantage during bad times. There are words for folk like that. So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? I don't know. A whole bunch of street urchins probably won't be able to turf out the pre-existing gangs that already exist, but hey, it is what it is, right? Uh, I thought you might need help with something. You got any quests for me? I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. Hmm. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all chanting at. The one that the other tiefling got uh, arrested for? I'll consider it. I'll look into it. But an idol? What'll you do with something like that? The important thing is to get it away from them. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's gotta be worth a small fortune. Um... I'll see what I can do. Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Uh, do you have anything to trade? You might. You have some scrolls on you. Arrow of ill matter, arrow of darkness, scroll of darkness, scroll of crown of madness. And then random fire resist. Hmm. How am I doing on the old uh, thieves tools? situation. I can't tech because he's not in my inventory. In my party. Uh, alright. So, really, pretty much they don't really Anything have that else? much for me. You've no, I'm been good. A friend to us. Come back anytime. Will do. Thank you, kid. Uh, hey, Sylphie. You want to chat? Actually, let's talk to Zaki first. You don't look so tough, toad lady. Toad lady? Mom fought off a hobgoblin all by herself. Why did the dialogue skip? You guys find it? Give Mull a ten day and she'll own Baldur's Gate. You'll see. You're overconfident, kid. Give me Also, you called me Toad Lady. Why? Is that like a a name for drow? Is that a thing? Don't uh, like it. In Baldur's Gate. There's Murkhan, the kid I save. Melly, who I don't know. We'll get there. And then maybe I can climb up here and then jump across or something. Okay. Um. Can I not? Looking at the standing mirror is apparently not good. I can examine it, but it's just a mirror. Fables of Faerun 3 The Enticing Elder. Oh, I've read this before. Okay. Let's talk to uh, Murkon, who has now saved. Hey. I have Mole said I should thank you properly for the harpies, so I wrote you a story. Oh, thank you. Uh, aren't you the clever one? That's very kind. It's about you. I hope you like it. I'm sure I will. Murkon's story. I will never throw it out. Murkon's present to you, describing how you saved him from the harpies and how he thinks you were amazing with lots of spelling errors. Once there was a boy on this be on a beach. He saw that he saw there was a harpy nest. He was a very good climber. He wanted wanted to climb to the top and st steal from the harpy nest. But the harpy was very mean. She sang a song and the boy forgot what he was doing. But then an adventurer passed by. The adventurer was very strong and killed the harpy in one blow and saved the boy. The boy was very cold and scared. He was standing in the water, so he was very cold. But the adventurer had saved him. The boy thought that the adventurer was amazing. The boy wanted to be like the adventurer. He wanted to be strong and safe people and never be scared again. Just like the adventurer. The end. Okay, well, this will never be sold. This will never leave my inventory. Very I sweet. A quick word. Let's chat again, see if you have new dialogue. Hello? I'm going to be like you someday. Killing all the scary monsters. I hope so, kid. Stay safe. 
Because I don't want to have inspired you to your death. Um, what's down there? Probably nothing. Uh, alright. Hello, Melly. Who are you? Hey. Uh, listen. Oh, I know you. I'm not saying I didn't have the whole amulet yeah. situation under control, but... I didn't think I'd get to keep the damn thing. So... Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, you're welcome. Keep out of trouble, hey? <laughs> One of us should. True. Um... And this goes up here, apparently. What's here? Oh, this is the hole. Got it. I don't really need to come back to the hole. Then, there's no real way for me to... Uh, man. Did I talk to Sylphie? I did not. Oh. Hello again. Um... Mole's in charge here, not me. You're a shy kid. Oh. Hello again. Um... Yeah, alright. Can I... I can climb this and possibly get up here. But is there a purpose? You guys find anything good today? No. Everyone's got junk. Hmm. Action. Not reaction. So you can climb up here. But what does that accomplish for me? Nothing really. Because I'm trying to get... I'm trying to get over here. There's no feasible way for me to get over there unless I'm... Well, there's no way for me to jump up there. That much is obvious. Uh... I don't think there really is anywhere I can go from here. Truth be told. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Actually, why am I even jumping back? I'll just go back as as us. Here we go. Bye. Not long until we leave now. Let's go find Zoru. Oh, camera, please. Camera, please. Camera. Ugh. Not as bad as well, that was weird, have. but okay. Okay, um, Zoru's around here somewhere. And Saza is over there. I don't need to worry about Saza. Zoru, I think I walked past him and talked to him, actually. Yeah, there he is. And step, swing, parry, swing. We'll do a quick save here. Hello, Zoru. I've been looking for you. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open, too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? Um... Yes, and I suggest you do as she says. Lower. <laughs> uh, I'll wait for the tiefling to obey. Ugh, Shadowheart disapproves. You saw another gift. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate, N near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. She's so violent and aggressive. Up. You can keep your innards. I'm so sorry about that, Zoru. Please. I... I've been through enough. Agreed. Okay. This. Oh. So, uh, how are my teammates uh, doing? How do they? What do they think of me right now? Gail still is still pretty happy. Um, relationship is fair. Relationship is neutral. Relationship is neutral. Okay. So I guess I've dropped Shadowheart back to neutral. So I assume she's not going to sing my praises anymore. Something the matter. Let's talk. Fine. Well, I must admit. Besides. You saved my life. Oh no, she's still singing world. my praises. Alright, at least there's that. Sing your praises. Alrighty then. Uh Lazel, let's chat. The What'd you find out? Prove compliant. A useful trait. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. Um Yeah, do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? Rough. 
Soon, you will be vomiting blood and tearing apart your own flesh. When the tentacles sprout from your lips, will you still cry that I was rough? All right, you made your point. Then I needn't make it again. The tea sling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Did you just say Tiefling? I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this Fey run. Uh, no, it's Fey rune. <laughs> what do you mean purification? The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. All right, let's go. Uh, in that case, I am done with you being in my party. Goodbye. Um, where, where is she in this map scenario? Whose bedroll is that? Okay, this is like a completely different map. Oh, she's probably all the way over here. No, she's not. Uh, oh, there you are. Okay. Hey. Speak. Bye. Shook. You yep. believe as you say. And Hmm. Let me run around with a new party member for a little bit and then I'll swap a star in, in when uh when I find like a chest I need to unlock. Hello, Will. Well met. Well met. I'd like you to join me. That's the spirit. Okay, free level ups. You're a level one warlock. And you've got Blade Ward. Take only half the damage from bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing attacks. Arms of Hadar. Um, was this range damage? Prevents people from using um, reactions. Eldritch Blast. Armor of Agathis. Gain five temporary hit points and deal five cold damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. That seems pretty good. That does seem pretty good, actually. Okay. And then if you level up, you're going to get some free stats, I assume, but no spells on level two? Yeah. Oh, no, he does get a spell. Uh, class features. You got a warlock spell slot. So, what can you get? Burning hands. 318. Ooh. Each flammable target is hit with 3 to 18 fire damage. Charm person, command, expeditious retreat, hellish rebuke, react to your next fl attacker with flames that deal 2 to 20 fire damage, hex, uh, 1d6 necrotic, conditional, make your attacks deal an additional 1d6 uh, necrotic damage to the target and give it disadvantage on an ability of your choosing. Protection from evil and good. I'm okay without this because I assume um, our cleric can cast that. And Witch Bolt. Mm. 2 to 20, 3 to 18. Does he become a tank character though? Is that how it goes? Because if he's a tank, then having this is good. Oh no, it's your next attacker only. So why would I want the 2 to 20 when I can do the 3 to 18? I guess I can roll higher, but this average is out to about the same, does it not? I mean, it's a little less damage, but I don't have to rely on someone choosing to attack me with Burning Hands. I'm going with it. Burning Hands, choice is pending. Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you have unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with abiding magical prowess. Agonizing Blast. When you, uh, when you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier to the damage it deals, unless it's negative. Oh, he's my Charisma man. He's going to be my new uh, my new Persuasion man. Okay, I'm going with that, because that seems really good for Eldritch Blast, with a, which is a spammable cantrip, it looks like. Um, Ooh, that seems good, too. But does he not wear armor? Armor of Shadows. You can cast Mage Armor on yourself at will without expending a spell slot. Beast Speech. You can cast speak with animals at will without expanding a spell slot. Tempting. 
Beguiling influence, you invoke your patron's bewitching charm. You gain proficiency in deception and persuasion. I really want that too. Uh, devil's sight, nah, I don't need that. That's just seeing in darkness, which uh, my drought is good enough at. And we can use a torch if necessary. You can cast false life on yourself at will as a level 1 spell without expending a spell slot. You gain 7 temporary uh, skill uh, health points. You can disguise self at will without expending a spell slot. The Mask of Many Faces. You can learn how to cast one with shadows. Repelling Blast. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push the creature away from you. Thief of Five Fates. Once per long rest, you can cast Bane using a Warlock spell slot. Bane targets up to three creatures. They receive a 1d4 penalty to attack rolls and saving throws. I kind of want the beast, the beast speech one as well. But these two together seem really useful for the rest of my game. So I guess Will is going to have to be in my party. Because he's my new persuasion person. Yeah, deception and persuasion. And now he levels up again. Uh, he gets another... Oh, most of my spells become stronger. And he's getting a spell. Uh, Alright, level 2. Scorching Ray, always good. Darkness, Enthrall. Hold person, invisibility, mirror image. Hmm. Shatter. Damages all nearby creatures and objects. Creatures made of inorganic material, such as stone, have disadvantage. I want to give him this. He's my only one that has that. Pack Boon. Um, your patron bestows a gift upon you for your lo loyal service. Choose one of the following packs. Pact of the Chain. Gain the service of a familiar, a face spirit that takes the form of your choosing. This can be an animal, imp, or quasit. That seems good, actually. Pact of the Blade. You can summon a packed weapon or bind the one you are wielding, making it magical. Packed weapons use the wielder's spellcasting ability modifier instead of strength or dexterity. Pact of the Tome. Your patron grants you a grimoire called the Book of Shadows, which allows you to cast Guidance, Vicious Mockery, and Thorn Whip. I'm going for the Chain. I want a familiar. What's a quasit? Find familiar. Summon a familiar, a face spirit that takes an animal form of your choosing. Oh, I just accept it. Okay. Nice. Um, and what gear do you use? You wear light armor. That's fine. Um, I. Sh oh, I sold all my light armor. Oof. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate for you, isn't it, Will? You also use a rapier. Oh no, we're syncing up a bit too much, buddy. Okay, so once I get new gear, I should give it to him. Zero to seven. Really? That's four to eleven for me. So if I give it to you, how much does this do for you? Zero to seven. Okay, so he's not good with it. I'm just going to stick with what I've got. Uh, okay. So Will's basically going to have to stay. I might just have to swap a Sterion out every now and then, I'm thinking. Although functionally, Gale's not doing that much for me. Hmm. I'll have to think about it. Also, why are you holding so much gold? Give me that. You're also no longer my salesperson because he is my charisma man. Okay, I'm gonna have to make some plans. I'm gonna have to think about all this. I just like that he looks like Gandalf. That's just entertaining me. Okay, Asterion's pretty much only going to come into the party whenever I need a lockpick. That's my thought at the moment. Alright, let's go back. This is ridiculous. Why? What's ridiculous? What do I do? Um, okay. So there's still a lot to do. Um, I'm thinking now, then, my plan is... Oh, actually, I have a few plans. I suddenly realized, while editing last time, that Speak with the Dead, it comes with a recastable spell where I can speak to more of the dead, so maybe I should just do that. I would like to do that. This is not the one I wanted to go to. There are a few dead people I would like to talk to. Uh, like this mangled fisher over here. Invalid target? Really? It's in here. 
You've got a hundred percent. Hello. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Marcus. Fisherman. Uh, what were you doing here? Saw the crash. Came quick. Trying to help folk. Nice of you, but it got you killed. I'm sorry. How did you die? Brains. Didn't see him coming. Why didn't you notice the brains? Woman. Beautiful. Couldn't look away. Which woman? And where did the woman go? Went west. Others followed. Couldn't help themselves. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. There's a woman that went west? Sage whispers from the grave. Gale is inspired. Glean some wisdom from speaking with the dead. Did I get a quest for that or no? I don't think I did. Yeah, investigate the beach is fine. So they went west. Uh, west is this direction. Yeah, so there's recast. Yeah, recast speak of the dead speak with the dead. And I can just do that, I think, more than once. Anyone over here I can talk to? For example, the mangled fisher? Invalid target? Fine, you're not allowed. Okay, so the the woman went west, you say. West is over here. Nope. I want to find the woman now. Abducted commoner. You have nothing worthwhile. Pretty sure this is just where the, um... Oh, abducted nobleman. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Pretty sure this is where the, uh, the mind flayer was. The one I squished. Who are you? Francis. Merchant. Selling pottery. Okay. Um. Did you have anything valuable? They took me. Took everything. Alright. Um. How did you die? Fire. Screaming. Then crunch. You died in the crash, that makes sense. And, uh, what happened to you? Guide in my cart. Shadow fell. Tentacle grabbed me. Put me here. Put something in my eye. You could have been a potential companion. <laughs> Do you know why any of us were taken? I mean, obviously we don't know how to get rid of it, so did you know why? Probably not. How would he know? No. Yeah. Took everyone. Peasants. Lords. Took them all. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. That's fine. I'm just gonna keep casting it on everyone. And everything. Are you considered... You are considered... Humanoid. That's funny. Okay, fine. The illicit just doesn't want to talk to me. Fair enough. Can't blame it for that. What? Where's the woman they were chasing? I mean, clearly it wasn't Shadowheart. Because Shadowheart was over here. And unconscious. I don't think it was... Um, what's her name? Lazal, because I feel like they would have mentioned that it was a Gith Yankee. Hmm... I'm not sure. Okay, well now I'm doubling back to places I've already been, so I really shouldn't be bothering with this, I don't think. Yeah. Time to port back, I think, more than anything else. Let's go back to that uh, village where I found the um, the lovely couple. 
because I'm pretty sure the orc was glowing green. I would like to also talk to his dead body up here as well. It was a time I tussled with hill giants without breaking a sweat. Now, a mere werebear could swap me halfway to arm. Strange things are happening to us. What festers in our minds may well impel our bodies. Oh, okay. So that's their explanation for their incredible backstories being like, Oh, I'm so powerful, and actually, I just joined you at level 1. The corpse does not break. Fine. The corpse right. Fine. I think his body might have been moved. I might have missed my chance to talk to him. That sucks. But let's get out, uh, let's get back over to the bodies. I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones. They always disappoint, though. Who are you talking about? Our party members, or what? Oh. I, uh, I missed some dialogue because I, my camera was too far away from everyone. That sucks. So. Have you wondered what people will say, Will, when they find out that the Monster Hunter is becoming a monster? I faced countless perils and conquered them all. This will be no different. And then her line of, I've always had a soft spot for the confident ones, but they always disappoint. Okay. That was unfortunate. Alright, nobody wants to talk to me today. Why? Alright, fine. The corpse. Not the corpse. Fine, be that way. I would like to go from the side path back into the cabin. You're an impressive fight again. You should consider a new name. I take it you have some suggestions? The Wizard Wonder. Or how about? The master of the week. That's pretty good, actually. Tempting. But I think we might already have the maximum number of theatrical titles. You say that, there can never be enough. Let's see. Alright, back to here. Yeah, that's what I thought. I can I can totally cast speak to the dead to you guys. Hello, Grucka. Kuko seems willing to speak. But not to its killer. Oh. I saw you training those children. You were so gentle. That's not how I was taught. Cruel words strengthen neither heads nor hearts, Shadowheart. I wouldn't quite say that. I learned a lesson, after all. You came to resent your tutor, I bet. I taught them to fight, not to hate. Fair enough. Um... Can I swap this amulet to someone else? Can I do that? Sharp as ever. I need another long rest before I can use it though, that sucks. Never a dull moment. They're not gonna be willing to talk to me. No. Alright, I'm gonna have to come back later after another long rest. Fine. It was worth a shot. The road to Baldur's Gate is a long one. Who knows how long it'll take these folks to get there on foot. If they make it. They're slow. Vulnerable. Half or more will die long before oh, Basilisk Gate. Doesn't seem to trouble What's you next? a jot. What good would it do for me to be... Like we can't save them all. Mm. That's true. She's not wrong, but he can try. <laughs> There's nothing st stopping him from trying. Oh yeah, the corpse is gone. That sucks. I really wanted to talk to his corpse. But maybe Rika and, uh, and the other one over here are willing to talk to me now. Glad you were here for those goblins. Picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. 
Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. That's unfortunate. Taking life always has a cost. You have to feel it or you'll lose who you are. I had the same thought. And it's just going to keep happening. You gotta desensitize yourself to it. You made it look so easy. The killing. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, let's not let's not let's not talk about uh killing and tieflings or anything like that, hmm? Hello, Kaldani. Aridan's back with his tail between his legs. I'm glad for your help, but I'd hoped you were Halsin. Uh, sorry to disappoint. Hells, I didn't mean it that way. Halsin's important, but you're the first bit of good faith we've had since he left. Keep your wits about you. Things are tense with the druids here. I can imagine. Okay, um, well, with the body being gone, that's unfortunate and a waste of my time. So, it is what it is. Time to head down to the grove itself. Sharp as ever. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Time to head down to the grove. Okay, I'm here. Let's talk to uh, some of the NPCs. Yes, I see. What's going on over here? Scribble note. Not be cursed. Oh, Keep away from Tuffet. She's lazy enough you. as is. Uh, where does this go again? Oh, I already, I've already been here. This is where I found. Um, that's where I found the kid with the with the with the. I keep wanting to say uh, har uh, sirens, but with the harpies, a primer of mythical beasts. Each chapter of this book describes the cultural origins of a different mythical beast. Chapter 5, Miniature Giant Space Hamster. That is a very popular reference, I know it is. I'm not super familiar, but I know there's a reference to it from Mass Effect, and it definitely relates back to the old Baldur's Gate stuff. Anyway, uh, very little is known about this particular cryptid, though stories say they tend to choose well-muscled human males as their steeds when they deign to visit this plane. According to legends, this creature retains a wellspring of indescribable power known only to itself. Adventurers. What have you heard? Though it provides a steed with perhaps mystical, perhaps mundane courage, unsubstantiated rumors claim that the creature has a taste for human eyes. Yep, go for the eyes. I've heard about these references. All right. Um, I would like to pick it up and give it to what's his name. Pick it up and add it to my wares. It's not considered stealing. You can't stop me. What are you doing down here, Orm? I do have the uh, animal speaking potion still in effect. He didn't come back, did he? His smell is gone. He's gone. Who's gone? Yeah. Master, he left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones. And I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. I could try looking for him. Mm. Sounds like he's dead. No, it can't be. He wouldn't, even, even with all the monsters. The bear whines, lonely and afraid. I feel bad about that. Maybe there should have been something else I could have said? He's gone. You were right. He's gone. His scent is growing fainter. He's gone. Alright, well, I regret telling him that. That feels kind of bad. Maybe I should have sent him after, after him instead. I kind of want to load that, actually. You look strong. Why not go after him? No. The woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately. And I was never the strong one. Okay. Still nothing. Still nothing. Okay, well, I mean, at least 
It's better with him waiting than being depressed and concerned. Hopefully we'll find his master uh, as we proceed in the game. Hopefully. I'll talk to these people afterwards. Uh, Alright, what's going on here, Volo? Procurer of Associates, Stories, and Curios. Do my eyes deceive me! A drow! Here! Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. This guy is so excited. Alright, uh, fine, ask your questions. I guess drow are super rare outside of the Underdark. Hmm, that makes sense. Uh, ask your questions. Glory. Now then. I like you pulled out notes in the pen. That particular batch of goblins. Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind. Oh, history failed. useful about goblin social order or behavior. I suck. Give an exact description. Goblins were of a rare gem-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? I don't I didn't mention a dragon, right? Uh dragon, there wasn't any dragon. Witnesses failed. Okay, you're crazy, to got notice it. The obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Hmm. Yes, they called out the name like a war cry. They did, didn't they? Oh, oh curious. Oh, curious indeed. Want to elaborate? I've interrogated one. A captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. Talking about Salazzle? Salazzle. Uh, S S S Salazza? Hmm. I'm gonna hold my tongue on that. Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. You are going to die walking in there. That's crazy. Uh, wait. What about a conversation earlier? Why the dragon? My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Alright, bye. Let me talk to the, uh, Just a bear. moment. This man is recording my story. Oh. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at the page. His brow furrows. Incomprehensible squiggles surround a crude sketch. A bear disemboweling a clutch of tieflings. Okay, so he doesn't understand at all. Got Come it. Come on. All the druids can understand me. You can. Why can't the man with the pen? Because he doesn't I have animal speaking. a long way. <laughs> the man nods thoughtfully and adds another dismembered limb to his sketch. Well done. Pardon me. I must prepare to travel. Good day, my friend. Good day. Where are you heading? To the goblins camped nearby, of course. I've been tracing their doings with great care. Whoever this absolute they're worshipping might be, I'll be the first to write about it. Uh-huh. Actually, now that I think about it, I should probably go and deal with the goblins before he gets himself killed. I'll talk to Tusk first, though. I thought you were Halsey. What does everyone think I'm Halsey? Prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate! Promised you a mate? No wonder he's so... Uh, no wonder he's so, uh, anxious. You should try it. Lay down and bask in his warmth. I'm good. Alright, let's go and deal with the, uh, deal with the goblins then. So, Will, what was the Blade of Frontier's toughest kill? Ah, it was a great scrap. A hungry minotaur with a hankering for human flesh. An axe-bearing mountain of fur she was. Gave me a nasty scar. 
I hope you don't mind if I don't ask to see it. Can I do something with the fallen tree? Oh, I'm just sitting. Alright, fair enough. Role playing, I guess. If you so choose. Um, should I walk in through the front gates? How unwise would that be? Hmm. So, will with a why. Why? Why? That's right. But why? Why why? A great uncle to name, my father said. But I just figured he couldn't spell. Fair enough. Let me raise a dead tiefling and hopefully they'll talk to me. Vermin on the rooftops. Vermin on the rooftops. Vermin on the rooftops? You mean like, uh, archers and stuff? Oh, I see them. I see them. Okay. They're gonna attack me on sight, right? I'll take that, and that, and that. Will you talk to me, sir? Nope. Signpost. Alright. Let's do a quick actual manual save before walking into Moonhaven. Get over there! Surround them like! I know you're there. Show yourselves. You spotted us. Good. It's like they say. Wait. A drow. In the sun. Yes. Stand down! This one's got a touch of the absolute about her. Really? Apologies, your lordship. Hard making you out from a distance. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the other goblin did say, Hey, um, the person who runs the show is a drow woman. And I happen to be a drow woman. So they're giving me respect because they think I'm part of the same group. Which is nice. It's good. I think this is helping me quite a bit. Um, I'm going to be moderately uh, rough with them. I should pluck out your eyes. You're clearly not using them. Please, your greatness. Was an honest mistake is all. <laughs> You'll get no more nice. trouble from us. Promise. Very good. Excellent. Free experience. And I get free reign of the entire area. I'm actually very happy about that. I, what did I just do? I picked up a fire wine barrel. Okay. I'm going to drop it back down because I don't intend to hold on to it forever. Heavy key. I want that. Alright, time to go on a looting spree. I already have a shovel. Nothing worthwhile here. Nope. Nope. Hello, skeleton. We can sell that. And tourmaline ring. Are you considered... No, you're you're undead. That's right. You don't count as anything. Uh, let's not mention the fact that I killed your bugbear friend, though, okay? The corpse friend. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's not mention that part where we came in and killed some of your friends already. You don't need to know about that. Old key and a dagger. Okay. Give me that old key. I don't know what it's for, but I'll take it. This can go into our new merchant's inventory. There's a goblin tracker. I don't think I can talk to them, though. No, it doesn't really seem like it. You can take that. You may as well take that as well. I could have totally killed you all, though. You're only level 1, so... It's fine. Uh, various alcohols. Yep. Still Peshan Sup. Yep, okay. Nothing of note, nothing of note. Highcliff's Journal. Who's Highcliff? No. 
The pupil surpasses the teacher. My master weapons are almost complete. There's just one component left. Samson says the designs are a failure, but what does he know? He can barely see past his own belly. I stashed the prototypes and the blueprints for now, but just you wait, Samson. Your legend is fading, and a new one will raise in its place. Finish the masterwork weapon. Um... Which one? Here. Find the blueprints. We found the journal of a blacksmith's apprentice. It mentioned blueprints to create masterwork weapons. They must be nearby. Night Song. Um, investigate the temple. Night Song is in some kind of temple. It must be in the goblin camp. Is this considered the goblin camp or is this considered... What are they doing? Oh. But yeah, is this considered a goblin camp or is this considered just like an overrun village? Also, that's a quick travel point, I think. Questions, questions. Alright. I can open this door now. Moonhaven. Yep. Still Moonhaven. Hasn't changed. Uh. Okay. I'm gonna run down here. Maybe loot the box or it's the barrels. Nothing worthwhile. Loot the trunk. Loot all of this stuff and then tra act activate the quick travel point. I'll hold on to that. It's fine. I'll take all that. Moss covered chest. Can I lockpick? No, I can't. Oh, anyone can do it, really. But no, plus three is not worth it. Alright. I'm gonna quickly grab our lockpicker. Who is him, so... Will, temporarily leave, please. Get it. Nice. All right, go. That still might not be enough, actually. I'm pretty screwed. Oof. Reroll. Ouch. Roll again. Oh, I could use up a thieves tool, or I can use inspiration. I think I should use up a tool. Ow. Okay, that'll do. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Haste Helm. Smooth start. At the start of combat, the wearer gains momentum for three turns. The helm throbs when violence is near, filling the wearer with a compulsion to act. I will equip that. And the gold. I would like to take the helmet off, though. I would like it not to be visible on me. Thank you. Uh, okay. I still need to drop Asterion again. Alright. We're back. Uh, now we can try this side, I guess. Let's have a look. I doubt there's anything good in here. Rotten mushroom, rotten fish. Do I really need all this rotten stuff? That seems debatable, but it is what it is. I can climb up here as well, but I don't think there's anything of note up here. Let's take a look, see if there's anything. Someone's looting back here. I can talk to the goblin warrior. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna lose health doing that. Don't do it. Hello, goblin booyog. Crowd inside. But we'll send word you're alright. Thank you. More of our can I get down there? Oh, that took three damage. Nothing. Less you like trash. Hey, boss. Not so your sort around these days. Huh? Okay, so they just straight up call me a boss. Got it. That's good. Very convenient. I assume I would have had to fight everyone if I was not. A drow? Presumably? 
Hello. Are you worth money? You're not worth money. Dim light haunts the inside of this heavy crystal ball as though something inside waits to be called upon. Sure, whatever. They've already looted this place pretty dry, haven't they? I'm not surprised though, because they're like they're pretty much here exclusively to uh to loot. On death and resurrection, I'm pretty sure I've already read that before. Soul coins, a tree a treaties or tree dies. Red leather cover of this manuscript is stamped with a grotesque sigil resembling a screaming face. Academic disclosure. This research was funded independently and conducted at a site in Avernus, the first plane of the nine hells. Candle keep does not encourage or promote the entrapment of mortal souls. Soul coins, as a concept, are one of merciless simplicity. The sum of personal and magical essence, the soul, is bound into a minted piece of infernal iron and used as currency by devils and their cohort. They are frequently traded for their value can purchase mercenaries, magical items, and even fuel the strange engines in the hells. However, there is a fascinating culture surrounding soul coins as well. I spoke to a devil who admitted that she has one coin that she will never sell, for it is a, it was the bargain that got her promoted out of Lemur status. She connected me to a half-elf warlock who had promised his soul to a coin after death. I was able to look at his contract, which is reproduced below. The next 50 pages appear to be a painstakingly written legal document in Infernal with a headache-inducing number of footnotes. Okay, so it was a contract. Fascinating. The Wonders of Phandalin. Let's read it. In this year, 950 DR, there can hardly be a more prosperous and fortunate town than Phandalin. Phandelver's Pact had brought prosperity to this land, splitting the wonders of Wave Echo Cave between gnomes and dwarves. The town now boasts thriving communities of both peoples, living and working together in harmony. We have also tempted human spellweavers from all across the north to our town, who are happy to work side by side with the allies of the Phandelver's Pact. Mayor Alderleaf invites you to come and witness this miracle yourself. See the powers being uncovered in the Forge of Spells and the prosperity in this power brings. I dare say Neverwinter will soon have a new rival for the title of Jewel of the North. Sure, why not? Nothing. Ooh, random clothes. You can sell these. You don't need those. What to do? Damage vase, no jewelry hidden inside of it. Alright. So this was a bar. There's a mirror up here. So this was basically a bar. Got it. Once upon a time. Or or a shop. I think it was a shop. I'm not sure. Well, no one's using this anymore. It's all mine now. Oh, it's an apothecary. Got it. Makes sense. I'll take, that. I'll take that. Yep. Suspension of Laculite. What is that? Crushed Laculite floats at the bottom of this tincture, infusing the water with the Underdark's mysterious energies. Okay. I'm surprised the goblins didn't loot all this stuff, but I'm also kind of like... It's not like they really use this, right? Can I actually use this? The pungent aroma of garlic and spices is permanently ground into this bowl. Can I combine it with anything? No. Okay, maybe it's actually just junk in this game. Fair enough. Absolute won't want this junk. I'll take the antidotes. And the mugwort. This is apparently a bookshelf. Even though the book... Uh, I mean, there's nothing in the book. Oh, it's that. That's the bookshelf. Okay. I was going to say, it's not storing any books. I'll tell you that. Uh, game. Sell it. I don't think it's normal for me to be seeing through these items, but all right. Uh, doesn't look like there's much else. Ooh, a wooden hatch. Intriguing. Potion of healing. Potion of sleep. Uh, 
All right, Apothecary's Ledger. This ledger is filled with cultivation instructions for a range of medicinal plants. One entry is underlined. Deliver specially requested plants to the seller. Keep away from prying eyes. Intriguing. I will definitely search the seller. And then there's a Rule of Threes book. Yep. Hello. Extracts. The Rule of Threes. A long-winded explanation. Oh, dear. A long-winded introduction explains that Haskin Cecilophin's notes, published as is from their work journal, have helped bring alchemy to the masses. It starts with a full history on the Dragonborn, who had been descaled as a teenager and started their chemical research in hopes of restoring their hide. As the pages turn, it continues to wax poetic about how Zesilophin put aside their own research to help the common people. Much more interesting, though, are Zesilophin's actual research notes. I have decided I shall make all my notes, both those written and those to come, available to those who would wish to study. You, reading this text now, is probably one such person. As enticing as potion making is, we shall first start with the most basic alchemical rule, the rule of three. Most ingredients can be found throughout Faerun. However, they need to be refined to be of any use in alchemy. Doing so is simple. Just combine three of the same ingredients and you will obtain an extract, which can be used to brew potions, poisons, oils, and elixirs. So remember, three of the same ingredients make an extract. Or in rhyme form, if you like. When in doubt with alchemy, just recall the rule of three. Thrice the same ingredient forms an extract excellent. Sure, why not? Quickly save. Let's see what's in the, the wooden hatch. Hello? Any guardians down here? No? Hmm. I'll take that. And all of this. And that. Look at all these crafting um. items I don't intend to use. Leave. I'll take it all. Valley with Brook. I just picked up a painting. I assume it's worth money. It is. In this scene, a brook flows over stones onto a large river cutting across a misty serpent. Oh, cutting like a misty serpent through a series of sloping valleys. You can sell it. That's fine. Water. Anything else of note or no? Let's check this section before we go into the other part. Uh, random clothing. How does this even look on me? I'm not sure. But they'd be scruffy vagabond clothes. Oh, that's basically what I was already wearing. Except, less Han Solo and a bit more green. I kind of like the Han Solo look. Yeah. Okay. In which case, you can also go to Gale. Or not Gale, sorry. Um, Will over there. Okay, what else have I got? Nothing worthwhile, nothing worthwhile. Alright, fair enough. Tiger Mist, made with Duster, all of these are going to Will as well. Perception failed, why? Hmm. What did we fail? Will guide me. Whatever comes, Target myself. My what did we fail to perceive? Go. It's probably over there, whatever it is. It's probably over here somewhere. Everyone failed the perception. That's no good. Everyone failed. Let's see what we have here. Time to replace two party members. Let's see if Do I can drop some progress? people and then um What's on your mind? get some fresh rolls. Stay I question here. the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Perhaps we'll travel together again later. I'll be here in the meantime. That's fine. How much can I go? You can also wait here. Well met. Wait Are here. You sure. And uh, so then let me grab you two. Not have a word. Where's Asterion? That's fine. It's whatever. Speak. Come with it me. And Asterion, where is Asterion? Is he upstairs somewhere? Is he in a corner? What's he... Where's he going? He's not up there. Asterion! Old buddy! Old pal! Where are you hiding? 
Will, Gale. Are you through the door? Let's see what this does. Yeah, he's through a door. He gets his own room. Wow, alright. What do you need now? I need you to come with me. Alright. Uh, please Can't use guidance. Die. No. There you go. Have a lot on my mind. And guidance, please. I've got a long road ahead. All right. Time to press ahead. Perception time. That Something might be worth a look. There you go. There's a lever back there, apparently. Let's pull that lever after we loot everything. It's probably going to open a door here. Okay. Healer's log, suspicious poison, potion of healing recipe. There's a lot on here. Uh, elixir of potion resistance. I'll check the chest. Elixir of arcane cultivation. Um, I'll probably give it to one of my mages. I have a lot of healing potions I should probably spread the wealth for. Mine. 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 Just give me all of it. Vitriol of Weave Moss. Small parts of weave stick to this foul-smelling paste, imperceptible to any but the most attuned spellcasters. Well, being a monk, I have zero spellcasting, so I probably don't smell anything. Bed linen. Don't need that. Potion of healing. Okay, let's see what all this is about. Suspicious poison, potion of healing recipe. This small recipe has helped me through a lot. Without my skills, my hide smarts and tear tears with the slightest touch. While it has never healed me fully, every drop soothes. I hope it might similarly soothe whatever ails you. Someone has filled the rest of the page with repetitions of Why is it always healing potions? This primitive village and the occasional Someday I'll kill that mongrel of a master. Luckily, the recipe itself is still mostly legible. Recipe for one potion of healing. Extract needed, salts of rose morsel, suspension of mergrass. Method, stir the suspension until a vortex forms. Carefully tip in the salts. Keep stirring until the salts dissolve and the solution takes on a red hue. Yep. Sure. Add it to the wares. Let's read the log before we pick up poison. Patient, Samson. Occupation, blacksmith, malady, gout. Comments. Samson's become acc accustomed to the good life since he acquired that new apprentice. I gave him a tincture of autumn crocus and told him to avoid red meat and ale. Patient, friendly. Occupation, Cooper. Malady, large wooden splinter in hand. Comments, splinter removed when cleaned, doused in balsam ointment and bandaged. Patient, Timic. Occupation, none, child. Swallowed a bo bottle cork. No hardness or blockage in stomach. The cork should pass without causing harm. I gave the lad a stern warning. Patient, Dita. Occupation, apprentice blacksmith. Minor burns to the face and hands. Another burn for Samson's eager young apprentice. The usual treatment was applied, but I urged her to slow her pace at work before she inflicts real harm on herself. Is that the apprentice? Okay. Suspicious poison. Don't be fooled. This potion will leave you worse for wear. I'll hold on to it. Don't know why I need it. Cursed and let's check the lever. Everything. Oh, okay. Let's save in case something crazy comes out at me. So this is what, a hideout area? I would like to replace my party members again. Best be on my way. Yep, pick all this up. Suspension of Bullywug Trumpet. Uh, what is that, precisely? Bullywug Trumpet. Uh, even the slightest sniff of this acidic tincture makes your eyes sting. Sure, I'll extract everything. Why not? Another three recipes unlocked. Simple Toxin. The emerald hue of this toxin is vivid and baleful as sunrise over a swamp. What else is new? I don't know. Wispweed. 
Get the strands wet and you can almost hear the lovelorn sobs. Sure, why not? Let's go with that. Um, A is for Azuth and the other gods too. Let me click on it. Azuth, the god of wizards all, who spend their whole lives learning. He, oh, I've already read this, haven't I? Yep. No, I'm not going to attack the... Survival failed. Uh, who has survival Drive skills? The gate. There's no time to waste. Guidance. But seriously, who has survival skills? Hmm. Oh, that? that'll do. Open up. Uh, scroll of Melf's Acid Arrow. I'll hold on to that. Scroll of Stinking Cloud. Create a cloud of gas so nauseating it prevents creatures from taking actions. I'm gonna give it to her. Scroll of Firebolt. That's the cantrip, so I'll hold on to it as well. Cool. Or I can sell it, I guess. A pickaxe, which I don't really need. One day I'll catch a break. Anything else around here? Oh, Moldering Casket. Oh, that's bad. Hi there, Agile Ga Guardian. You are agile. Okay. Get him. Made a grave mistake. Okay. I can still hit him normally. Dead. Longbow. Uh. Am I proficient with longbows? No, I'm not. That's fine. Are you? Not profession. You probably will be though, right? Not proficient. None of us are prof uh, proficient with this stuff. All right, hold on to it. Let's get going. Yes, let's go. Another casket. So you're probably gonna attack me as well. Well met. Hello. Oh, Dark Journal. The Journal of Illin Toth. 6 Nidal, 1371 DR. I pay no service to the gods, but by some blessing, this village believes me and my apprentice to be simple healers. My tattoos are hidden, my red robes locked away, and my lab secured. I have not heard the word Thay since we arrived, and my, only my apprentice knows me as Illin Toth. This place is not ideal for my research, but I can never return home. Not the way I escaped. I'd be put to death with worse to follow. The work here is simple and allows me to continue my research at night, but the progress is slow. Reanimation seems easy, but restoring life? That prize eludes me. The tome contains the magic I need, but it fights me at every step, as does my apprentice. At least my familiar has made it easy to secure bodies without raising suspicion. This will take time. Will the Zulkirs find me before I can bring her back? I cannot say. But if they do come for me, they'll have to face the guardians I've raised. Okay. Uh, search the cellar. The owner of the cellar was more than a doctor. He was a necromancer, and he was obsessed with a particular book. Okay, that's fine. Also, don't you have, like, minions you can summon? Yeah. We'll worry about it when we get there. Another moldering casket. Okay, let me guess. All these moldering caskets actually have bodies in them. How did I walk past? I thought they were all benches. That's why I ignored them. I literally thought all these baskets, or sorry, all these caskets were be were benches. So I just completely disregarded them. Thank you. Anything of use? I don't know. Scroll of Summon Quasit. Summon a Quasit from the Lower Plains. The scroll is destroyed upon use. Some are familiar with the form of a closet that can turn invisible and scare enemies. Inky notes slash across the margin, the angle of the handwriting suggesting urgency, perhaps warning. Interesting. You can hold on to that, Gale. Well, the one in the light is probably the one I'm looking for. Presumably. I wish I could read the actual headstone, or, you know, cross or whatever. Alright. Oh, nothing. What is that? An ornate mirror. Is it a portal to another realm? Hmm. Hmm.
Don't need those. All right, save and let's talk. Talk in front of the mirror. Hello. Oh, that's bad. Huh? <laughs> Drow. I'm a Shadow Meroden. Repeat the name of the book you read, Ilan Toth. I say you were shaped by darkness, not light. You are not Ilan Toth. Uh -huh. If you are his ally, step forward and declare it. Um. Yes, an ally. I'm an ally of your masters. Only a true ally of Illintoth may pass. What think you of the Zalkir known as Zastam? You remember stories of Zastam, nice. a powerful lich in Thay who made deals with dark gods. A foul lich, may he die a thousand more deaths. You are no Zalkir, but are you wise? Probably not. Well, I have wisdom. Tell me, why might one use balsam ointment? Uh, I read a doctor's journal. He used balsam to clean a wound. Yeah, I just read that. Acceptable. Finally. If you could see anything in me... What would it be? Mm. He was trying to bring back someone from the dead. So it's probably the ones I, I love. Uh, sorry, when Illintoth built this thing, probably the ones that he loves. Weak. No? A poor choice. You will be purged. Well, that's no good. Oh boy. What do you mean by purged? What? Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! That went horribly. That went terribly. And I lost a ton of experience or health for no reason. Well then. Unfortunate. Back away. Nope. No holding back. Nice. Get him. Nice. That's okay. Uh, resum. Fading fast. I need healing. My wounds are too much to bear. I think we're all about to die. Okay. Gone with the weave. Uh, let's help out our buddy. I cannot help out our buddy. I could drink a potion. Nice. I will deflect the missile. No. Yes. I can deflect it. I think I'm going to need a short rest after all this anyway. Okay, we're all down. Okay. For a wizard in need. No, we're not in a good spot. I think I need to load. So basically, I should have answered the questions a little better. Fair enough.
It doesn't help that the uh, the floating th cask thing exploded on us on multiple times and made us lose like all our health before the fight started. It, that did not help. All right, let's try again. I'm uh, a Shadow Meriden because I'm a drow. I do not know this name. If you are known to my master, step forward and declare yourself an ally. Yes, I'm an ally. Only what you remember stories of such Doctor Journal. See anything in me? What would it be? Uh, look for whatever spell will rid me of this worm in my head. You seek to survive. You seek power. Be welcome. Okay, fine. Peaceful resolution, apparently. Go deep and move. Oh dear, what am I looking at in here? Okay, there's quite a bit, actually. Uh, bottle rack. Nope. Okay. I assume this is another task. Oh, Nettie's back here. I'm like on the other side of where the uh, the healers and stuff are. Interesting. All right. Uh, mugwort, wooden chest, scroll of cloud of daggers. Sure, give it to one of them. Scroll of dark vision, completely worthless. Scroll of ray of sickness. Sure. Scroll of web. Web is good. Okay. Give me... Nothing. Okay. I'll take the antidote. But that will fit in my pack. That it will. Uh, fringe... Well, let me look at these first. Nothing, nothing. Okay. Fringe philosophy, volume 5. Uh, the publisher's note claims that this volume promotes magical theory too radical for the mainstream. This excerpt is excerpt is attributed to High Artificer Thora Bryn of Baldur's Gate. I suppose they seek to silence me, believing that an artificer of the High House would not stoop to publish in any volume outside of the great Gondian journals they so diligently guard. But they forget that I am not so grand. Before I lent my name and my knowledge to the High House of Wonders and all the marvels therein, I was not but a lazy farm girl who liked to look up. And that was how I first saw them. The slow and the serene earth motes, entire mountains migrating through the sky above. It was only later that I learned of their origins, of the ancient Netherese Empire that fashioned them, of the residual magic so potent it sustained them still. The wizards of Netheril carved marvels out of the mundane, lifted the earth aloft for the industry and for sport. It was later still, after I earned my place at the High House, that I learned of the long shadow Netheril cast along the evolution of our craft. That their great flying cities fell in folly and flames does not diminish the wonders they've wrought, and the stubborn aversion of studying them to learning that what they learned is the very antithesis of God's, God's teachings. Yes, many of the catastrophes inflicted upon the centuries were fruit born of meddling with Netheril's seed. Yes, their last shining bastion fell into shadow, their lord twisted to Shar's dark and destructive designs. And yes, I say again, whether the High House will sanction it or not, to study the very flame of creation is worth it, even should the fires consume us. I have no understanding, basically, of uh, what that's all about, but that's okay. The Evil Eye. While the number of trinkets and bargains a hag personally acquires means that her powers will be unique compared to that of her sisters, hags as a whole can still be divided into three subcategories. Night hags, named as such for their ability to haunt a mortal's dreams, slowly devouring vital essence until the victim's soul can be trapped into the hag's soul bag. They are known for being petty, selfish braggarts. Sea hags, known for devouring their victim's whole, sea hags can terrorize and kill with a single look. They reek of fish and are incapable of making a proper cup of tea. Green hags. They are beautiful. They are powerful. Speak not a word against them. Fair enough. Uh. There you go. I actually quite like the way that Shadowheart kind of stands for her idol. Um, like, that pose is kind of cool and very specific. But I'm also noticing she's the only one with, like, an actual pose. Everyone else just kind of stands around, and then she stands there with her arm raised. 
Not quite sure if there's any significance to that, though. Other than just to make her character more unique. Ink pots. I can sell those. Braces of defense. Become the bulwark. You gain plus two bonus to armor class as long as you are not wearing armor or holding a shield. I think this is good to give to um, our Will. Yes. Yes, I think I should give this to Will. Because he'll actually be able to um, use it. Since he's not... Wait, he is wearing armor though, isn't he? Wait, let, let me take a look. This is technically armor. Okay, then I can give this to uh, our mage. So that he doesn't get targeted as much. That's fine with me. Yep. Yep. Okay. On death and resurrection, I will... No. I'll just pick that up and add to my wares. I don't need it. Read it before. Just a quill. Alright. What is this? A rusted iron gate. The necromancy of Thay. Hmm. I could try and disarm it. But probably not a good plan. Let's at least read the research notes. Also, who's this? Just a bone. Research notes. Raised dead. Failed. Gone too long. Body decomposed. Reanimation. Failed. Came back as ghoul. Had to kill again. Speak with dead. Failed. Answers unhelpful. Clone. Failed. Needs living tissue. Reanimation plus clone. Failed. Had to kill both ghouls. Resurrection. Failed. Why? Magical curse? True resurrection. I have reached the limit of my skills and my resources. The book offers help. Dare I accept? Oh, it's the book that's in here. The Necromancy of Thay. I'm also noticing the gargoyle statues that may or may not come to life. Silk cocoons. Hmm. I may need to bring... I may need to bring Astarian back for this. Acorn Truffle. Oh, I can just make potions of ex animal speaking out of this. Nice. I'm actually happy about that. So now I can basically use my animal speaking whenever. Are those just insects on the ground? Probably. Oh, hello. These are all alchemical stuff. Fair. Fair enough. Um, alright, so, let's take a look. Might need to swap Asterion back in. I think that's what I will do. Did you just step on the trap? Careful, I bind. He just stood on the trap. But that's okay, we're fine. We'll disarm it. I don't even know what that did. Unlock, Let's please. Crack it open. Go! Uh, I'm in danger. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. It worked out. Nice. Have a lot on my mind. And yes. Well, in it. And now, say goodbye to Asterion. Alright. And of course, there's a trap underneath the, uh, the book. Um, I just failed two perception checks, which I'm not fond of. Can someone else check, please? Oh boy, this is not going to be good, is it? Something the matter? Yeah, we just failed a lot. Um, let me try disarming the trap. Difficulty class is only 10. I couldn't make this happen. I could beat this check. It doesn't seem that bad. Uh. Okay, great. Alright, we're good. Barely made it work. The Necromancy of Thay. The book is locked tight with no visible keyhole. I don't want that. Only an oval recess in the cover's mouth. I don't like that. 
This seems like an evil tome. I don't know if I really should you be opening this. You try to examine the book, but the longer you stare, the more those piercing amethyst eyes draw you in. Curious. Why don't you take a closer look? I'll observe from back here. Okay. We surely shouldn't leave such a threat out, where anyone could stumble across it. Agreed. Hmm. I should probably be ready to destroy it, but I'll put it away. I'll take it. The Necromancy of Thay. This seems like a bad idea. It is not too late. I don't like the book. I would like to destroy it at some point. But I'm sure there's things that we can... I'm sure there's stuff that we can glean from it. So... I'm sure there's information I can learn. Maybe it's part of a quest. I assume. Uh, unlock the ancient tome or destroy the ancient tome. Evil is inscri inscribed on every page of this book. But all evil has a weakness. There must be a way to destroy it. I'll find a way. That is my goal. I don't intend to use it. It's obviously evil. Oh, and there's a lever. This can take me out to the, uh, to the druids from underground. I don't know if this is what they want me to do, but it's what I'm going to do. Oops, I don't want that. What did I just pick up? I thought I picked up, like, a random bowl. If I did, it's going to stay in my inventory forever. I'll take that. Drow poison. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. I'm a drow. I should use my own poison. Excellent. Let's save and then uh, try to figure out this lever. Boop. Okay, no, it doesn't actually lead to the healer. It leads to a ladder that might lead to the outside. I see. Oh, wait. We've already been... Oh. I see what we did. We went all the way around and then came back. That's what that's all about. All right. Let's see what We're going to leave now. I'm quite happy with that. The Blighted Village. Um, okay, well, that was a lot more involved than I was expecting, actually. I didn't think the apothecary here would have so much stuff to deal with. Hello, Goblin Warrior. Hello, Tracker Slice. Just scraping up some pieces, Majesty. Uh, don't mind me. <laughs> All right, I won't mind you then. I've already talked to you. Uh, let me take all this stuff. Maybe I need more pockets. Nothing. I'll take all those. Don't need any of this. Nope. All right. Goblin Sharp Eye and Goblin Warrior. Okay, so there's like all this down here that I haven't explored yet either. Which is not great. Oh, hello. Chalk, Lump the Enlightened, and Fank. Hmm. I just realized I gave all that stuff to the wrong guy. Sorry, you're in uh, the spot that Will was previously occupying. Okay. Pretty sure I have some jewelry on me as well. Yeah, you can hold on to that. Okay. Uh, okay, let's take a look and see what's out here then, I guess. I don't even know where the goblin camp is. Or where I'm going. This is all just unexplored territory. Okay. I'll take animal carcass. Vitriol of bone cap. Bone caps are found growing upon burial mounds. Their chemical properties are flavored with proximal death. Wonderful. That's what we like to hear. Something over where? A burrow. 
a backpack that has a dark stain that mars the underside of this otherwise clean backpack. Arrow of humanoid slaying. I have no one who really uses arrows, so I'll hold it. Arrow to many targets. You can have that, and I'll take the gold. And I'll take the bag, why not? Ooh, honey. As long as I don't get stung. Okay. So this takes me out to the river. I can get some berries. This is all in proximity to um, the way the main entrance to the village, so I'm okay with what I'm doing here. All right, let's get some berries. And follow the path, I guess. This leads out to what? A swamp? More undiscovered territory. Uh, okay, so... She went to see you. We know she did. You know absolutely nothing yet. Get, let's give myself some guidance. And get into this conversation. Hello, Auntie Ethel. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. You there? Please, I don't know what's come over these boys. I just want to go home. The old woman's face mm. creases with false concern. You realize she's lying about seeing this girl, Mayrina. Stop this! So we, she's lying. She has seen we her. Won't ask again. Hmm. You're lying. You have seen this girl. Bollocks! You were supposed to rush to my defense, love. Fat lot of good you are. Some what have you done with her? You ever darken my door, you'd best have that head bowed and an apology at the ready. Well, what happened to the sister? You're covered in blood. Bloody hells. She just disappeared. Ain't seen nothing like that before. She could shoot fireworks out of her backside for all I care. The hag has Rina. Will someone please tell me what's going on? It's our sister, Marina. She's... Well... She was in a bad way after her husband died. Started saying weird things, like how she was gonna bring him back. Next thing, she's gone looking for the hag. Of all the stupid things to do. And we haven't seen her since. And no good ever came from dealing with a hag. None of this matters, all right? We need to get her back, and fast! Um... Let me, I'll bring Marina home. Are you joking? I ain't got a clue who you are. No way I'm leaving Rena to you. But, Joel... That heart disappears. We're getting her back on our own. Now, come on! You guys are gonna die doing that. With haste. I should follow you to make sure you don't die. I wish I had a bag of holes. Alright. Yep, they're falling into traps. They're gonna die. A chill runs up your spine. Oh boy. You feel like you're being watched. Monk wisdom. Reach out with your senses and check the balance of this place. Oh, this is gonna be difficult. Oh yeah, that's terrible. That's actually terrible. Reroll it. Ow. Roll again. Wow. Reroll it. Okay. There you go. Oh, great. Now we're stuck in a... What is this? Like a you barrier? The wilderness changes. A swamp, stinking and insidious, assaults your senses. Oh, so this is what it really looks like. What happened to the guys? They're probably super dead. They were running in this direction, yes? I just walked on over a trap, didn't I? Can I be helped, please? 
Swords and blades always sharp. Nope. Shouldn't have wished to live mm -hmm. in more interesting times. Maybe I should do a short rest. I'll have to consider it. Okay, there's definitely a lot around here, and I'm not sure what I'm getting it myself into. This is probably bad. Putrid bog. Red apple, half-eaten apple. Someone wasn't as fortunate in their choice of campsite as us. Correct. Nature failed. Wonderful. Why? Someone else have nature? Very well. No one else has nature checks? Okay. I'll hold on to that. You can have that. You can sell that. Nice. Traveler's Guide to the Sword Coast, Volume 4, The Risen Road, an old, cheaply bound book that's starting to fall to pieces. The stained, well-thumbed pages filled with traveling advice that seems to be decades out of debt. Out of debt. Out of date. Those who seek to journey to the coast from the interior regions lying to the east will typically seek out the Risen Road. Running parallel to the river Chianthar, the Risen Road provides an overland route all the way from El Turil to Baldur's Gate, and has proven tempting to travelers seeking an alternate to the river barges that sail the Chianthar. A portion of the road, approximately halfway between El Turil and Baldur's Gate, has in recent years developed into an enclave for saloon worship, with a temple of not insignificant splendor lying near the road. Indeed, an entire village, Moonhaven, has developed to alongside the, um, the temple and can provide food and shelter to weary travelers. Moonhaven is the village that's overrun. Farther east lies the citadel of Moonrise Towers, where the toll is required for onward passage of goods and folk alike. Some are tempted to go off-road in order to avoid the toll, however bandits and other dangers may cause them to pay a much steeper price. True. Intestines. Just random intestines on the ground. Mmm. Lovely. Also, no thank you. No traps, please. Barbed bulrush. Poison apples? Sure, I'll hold on to it. There was a sleight of hand check. I guess it could hurt me in theory if they're barbed. Okay, cool. Fascinating. I mean, I'm winning all the rolls so far. Can't complain, I guess. Ow! Spike traps. Okay. Loving note. And a wicker basket. They're all poison apples. Take a breather, lovelies, and have a bite to eat on me. NTE. Yep, you're the one. Maybe you're definitely evil. I was not anticipating this, basically. Uh, Chevon. Is that food of some sort? Yep. Okay. Potato, carrot. Thank you. I think it is necessary now to do a short rest. That took the edge off. Nice. Uh, all right. Don't know what I'm getting into. Also, still haven't found that goblin camp. Have no idea where it is. Blade of Frontiers, the Crash, Goblin Priestess. Oh, I guess the goblin camp is right here. All right, we're almost there. Well, currently, we've been sidetracked into whatever the hell this is. Hello, Red Cap. Diminutive creature sporting a red hat glares at you. <laughs> that noise. Is the creature pretending to be a sheep? Take a deep breath and say, Bah. <laughs> bah. Okay. Can someone else Can't to stay idle. try that check? The murderous glare of a red cap, a fey creature known for its bloodlust, greets you. Mm. 
Uh, back. Yeah, let's roll with that for now. I don't wish to get attacked by mud cap mud caps. Uh, red caps. There's a lot of these things moving around. Don't like that. Ow. Mine. I better be careful not to trigger that thing. Yeah, it's a bit too late. You've already done it. Definitely a lot of. I guess they didn't find their sister. What do you mean? Where are the brothers? Whoever did this wanted them to suffer. Oh. We need to be careful. Well, there's one of them. Where's the other one? Night on my feet. Yeah, Demir. Nope, perception failed. Ow. I told you you couldn't go by yourself. I told you no, but here you are. Where's your other brother? The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hmm. Did you find your sister? Okay, she can cast illusions. Mm. Where are you from? Farm out by Baldur's Gate. Okay. I can only ask three more questions. Uh, we already know he had a brother and a sister. We kind of know who he is. It doesn't really matter. What killed you? Wasn't a sheep. That's what the red caps are doing. They're pretending to be sheep and then murdering. Ah! Uh. So if I didn't win that check, after spending like two inspiration rolls, if I didn't win that check, I wouldn't have seen it. I would. I would not have seen the illusion. Or, or rather, I would not have seen through the illusion. Got it. Uh. Okay. Well, who are you then? That's not helpful. Do you have family? Mom, Joe, Marina, and soon a niece. All right, that's it. I have no more questions. I think the spells power. Yeah. Weapons. You can ask no more questions. Fair enough. Oh, Will's alive. I didn't even. Oh no, that's that's my party member. Of course, he's fine. I'm ready. Uh, it takes. Ready and willing. One of the few times I may actually have to get him to drink a potion. Me yet. So Where is the other brother? Carry me. Riverside Tea House. I have my doubts. Oh, this is probably her house. And I have half health. So that's one brother. Where's the other brother? Yeah, where's the other brother? He's not here. Clearly. Oh, uh, hmm. Well, at any rate, I assume it would have looked like a really nice little idyllic treehouse if I had not seen through the trap. I'm gonna walk in with, with like, no health on all my characters. This is probably a boss fight. Gandril, who are you? Good idea, I think. Hello. Hello there. Who are you and why are you standing so close to this place? Ah, a fellow wanderer. Forgive the aroma. You catch a waft of something foul, metallic, and sickly sweet. Like blood? Powdered iron vine. Mm. Most monsters will think twice before making a meal of me. An old hunter's trick. If you can't mask your scent, spoil it. I'll keep that in mind. But who are you? Yeah, who are you? You're a monster hunter? Hmm. Today? The same as you. A humble supplicant. Come to bargain with the lady of this house. That is why you came to her lair, I take it. 
to bargain. Uh, sure. That's. <laughs> Why would you assume that? Because this is her domain. If you are here, it's because it suits her. Her kind of hidden among us since the first darkness. And their knowledge is matched only by their spite. Know how to ask, and they'll share that knowledge. If you're fool enough to pay their price. I might actually just kill her to rid us of this evil entity. Uh, and are you fool enough? Of course. I'm a hunter who lost his prey, and here I am seeking help from something worse. But she thrives on suffering. Once she hears what awaits my quarry when I catch him, she will help. And who is it that you're hunting? Truth is like a blade, my friend. We can arm ourselves with it, or just as easily find it pressed against our throat. I would not put you in danger. Okay. Uh, persuasion. Maybe I can help with your hunts. This is not likely to go well. Critical success. Apparently you can skip the animation as well by just double-clicking. I didn't realize that. No. This duty is mine alone. But for such an offer, an answer at least is owed. I hunt a vampire spawn called Astarian. Oh. I'm bound to bring him back to Baldur's Gate. Alive. Though I cannot swear to his condition once my tribe are done with him. Is he known to you? No comment. What does your tribe want, to, want with a creature like that? My people were recently attacked in the night. Our camp set upon by a band of vampire spawn. In the chaos of battle, one of them stole away with our children. We've been searching for them ever since. We Let believe me... this Astarian hmm. knows exactly what happened that night and where to find our little ones. The plot thickens. Captured. My people will make him talk. So I ask again. Is he known to you? Mm, I'm just gonna leave. Uh, alright, Asterion, you have some answers that I need from you. I must now speak with you. Where are you, buddy? Hey, uh, you wanna fill me in on this? Can we get, like, a peaceful resolution with this guy, please? Where are you? I never know. I get so lost. Here you are. I should speak up. I should save. All right, Asterion. You're staring at me again. What do you want? I met a monster hunter in the swamp. He was looking for you. What? Who? What happened? He wanted to capture you and bring you back to Baldur's Gate. Back to Baldur's Gate. Back to Kazador. There's no other reason he'd want me alive. The hunter said that you were a vampire spawn. Well, of course he did. I'm hunting a poor innocent for money isn't exactly going to win sympathy, is it? No. I'm here to save you from a monstrous vampire. That's much more convincing. Well, in this case, we know it's true. Uh... The hunter was a gur. Does that mean anything to you? And who is Kazador exactly? Ah, uh, yes. You don't know. Kazador is a uh, slaver in Baldur's Gate. He captured me a long time ago. Insisted I call him Master. I only escaped when the Mind Flayers snatched me away from him. Okay. I shouldn't be surprised Cazador's hunting me. He always was quite, um, obsessive. And, uh, why would Cazador want you alive? Maybe he wants to make an example of me, to show what happens to runaways. Or maybe he thinks death is too good for me. Perhaps. The hunter was a gur. Does that mean anything to you? <laughs> of course he'd send a gur. To hunt me down. I don't know what a I girl is. I shouldn't be surprised. Cazador always had a twisted sense of humor. But why send anyone after me? I'll be a threat out here. Uh, how concerned should we be? We just have to be vigilant. Keep our wits about us. 
and kill any monster hunters on sight. I don't intend to do that. We can probably make an exception for Will. Probably. Uh huh. All right. So what happens if I bring him to him? Well, I'll probably have to kill the monster hunter. Hmm. The pale elf. Astarian tells us that he. So okay. We learned that the Aster that Asterion might be a vampire. A monster hunter named Gandril is looking for him. Asterion told us that he suspects the monster hunter is serving his master Cazador. Right. Okay. We're back. And about to engage in a fight that I'm probably not ready for. What can I craft right now? Elixirs, potions, potion of animal speaking. I can just make these. And I would love to make these, actually. I'll hold on to them for now. But it's good to know that I can do it whenever I want. There's a well. I have a bad feeling about this. A very bad feeling. Candle. What's in the well, Granny? Or Auntie? What's in the well? Fetid smell assaults your nostrils. Dead flesh lies below. A great deal of it. That's not good. I'm not drinking from the well, are you kidding me? I guess if I thought it was a tea house, and I didn't see through it all, I... I could, in theory, drink from it without knowing. Uh, alright, into the quote-unquote tea house. The witch's hut, more or less. Hello? Oh, hey, it's... I don't want a crumb left on that plate, girl. Auntie Ethel, please. One more bite and this pie is gonna come back up to say hello. Don't make me get the wooden spoon. You're eating for two, so get to it. Hello. If it isn't the cheekiest pop of them all, you'd best have one hells of an apology for me, young lady. You'll get no apology from me, hag. Ah. I do like the mouthy ones. You know, I was gonna give you a swift kick up the arse and show you the door. But I think you and I could have a bit of fun together. How so? That God, doesn't sound good. Grant me patience. Eat up, Marina. I won't say it again. That's Marina. I have some bad news for her. Keep that hole under your nose shut, or things will get messy. The choice is yours. There's really no good decision to be made here. Agreed. What is it? What's going on? Auntie Ethel killed your brothers. That can't be true. Auntie Ethel. They were being rude, and I detest rudeness. <laughs> Enough! Away with you! Oh, poured it out. Okay. Last silence at last. Some time in the cage should do her good. And fighting. you, you'll regret sticking your nose in my business. I'm gonna regret this. Oh boy. Oh. Uh... What am I dealing with? You oh Wonderful Sister of the Seeing Pearl and now she's invisible. Good. That's what we want. Commence battle. I'm just gonna rush in this direction. Go! My hand. I hit her! Nice! That's what I needed. Topple her. Okay. Three to twenty-two, or burn her. Do it. Uh, I don't know how she fights. I should probably still move forward though, so I can hit her. She has a lot of health. She's level five. I'm only level three. This is not going to go well. 
Yeah, this is I can smell this not going well. Coming through. Oh. That did almost no damage. Okay. Sacred flame. I think it's time to invoke duplication or duplicity. It'll give us all advantage, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, what? Oh, all the red caps are coming. I should have killed them first. Not great. Alright. I should have killed them separately. Darn it. Alright. It's fine. You live and you learn. Break illusion. Uh oh. What's back there? What? What's that? What happened? Oh, she escaped! She ran away! Well, that's not good. My Do it! Nice. Okay, well, at least we're indoors. We have something. We have something to work with. Go! That's fine, back off. That's fine, you can't do anything. The good news is, if there's good news to this, they do have to come in through a, uh, a choke point. So there, there is that, I guess. Uh, spike bulb, how does that do? Not the best. Here we go. Close the door. Uh, we should prepare. We should probably cast something good. Like grease. But we should hold off until they actually come in here, I think. Okay. Time to buff up. Yep, time to buff up. This is not going to go well. Hello? Okay. Do I have AoE? No, not really. Shatter. This will hurt my- Oh, this can hit a group of them. It is AoE, that's good. This will hit three of you. Good, good, good. And I can still walk up and do something to you. Okay. You have almost nothing. Burning hands, scroll of blindness, scroll of web. I could wave. Uh, I could web all of them. Yes, I should wave them, uh, web them, so they don't get to move. Go. Nice. Oh, that's bad. Get caught in the web! Nice. I now have advantage, which is good, 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 lovely. Get it. Good. I just need to kick him to kill him, I hope. No, he's not dead. It's close, though. Nope. Oh, wow. Wow. That's not good. Help him out.
Uh, I guess I should drink this. Yeah. I can't do anything right now. This is bad. What's with the triple swing? That's crazy talk. That one's still alive for some reason. I need AoE. Scroll of Magic Missile. Hmm. I could help. But that doesn't help me. I should try pushing you away. Nope. Okay, he's down again. I got nothing here. Yeah, I've got nothing here. I think it was actually a good strategy what I was going for. The annoying thing is just, um... The annoying thing is just that I had no- I started with like nothing in my combat abilities. Kill him. Okay. Ow. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, okay, so my problem right now is the fact that I kind of went into this with almost nothing available. Very well. I will still do what I just did. Um, but maybe after a rest this time. Long rest, please. Who wants to chat? Shadowheart? Will? Why are you... Hey, Will, let's talk. And then I'll talk to Shadowheart. Because no one else seems to want to talk. A tingle runs through your head and down to your feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brainworms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Mm. Uh, nervous. I don't like the idea of that thing in my brain. I'm more interested in how you feel. Sure. Healthy and troubled by that fact. Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. Something special about us, or at least about our tadpoles. Uh, makes no sense, I know. Why haven't we turned? Yeah, something special Indeed. about us. Perhaps the worm's vat was poisoned. Perhaps we're uncommonly fit. Or perhaps the tadpoles are merely on holiday. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. True. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Also true. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think. Agreed. Well met. Well met. Nothing else. Um, I will happily talk to Shadowheart. Where is our Gith Yankee friend? No Something's idea. Something's wrong. I feel. I feel. Oh what? Ah, it hurts. Darkness protect me. Oh, everyone's gathered now. Darkness protect me. What do you mean by that? Are you hurt? No. I'm fine. Forget it. Darkness prote protect me? What do you mean by that? I... It's difficult for me to talk about. I'm sorry. Wisdom. Oh, I don't want to enter her thoughts. Don't be sorry. Just tell me what you're hiding. Disadvantage. That's awful. Why am I disadvantaged? Charisma check. I'm a terrible charisma person. 
Well. I could roll again, but I'm not going to beat 18. Please. All right, fine. I'll have to ask her later. Something the matter? There's something you're not telling me. I'm sure of it. I don't know what you mean. No, I think you know exactly what I mean. It's nothing, really. Persuasion. We have to be honest with each other. What is it you're keeping from me? 18. Are you shitting me? Close. What makes you think I'm hiding anything? If I have something to share, I'll let you know. Okay. I still think you're keeping something. You've already pestered me with your notions once. Okay, so I can something ask her once a day? You've yeah, okay. Once a day. I can try and keep rolling until I win. Alright. I will be nothing if not persistent. Worry not. Okay, no one else seems to want to talk to me about quest-related stuff, so let's just go to bed. Here we go. Auto select. Oh boy. Tonight, what now? You can't chase the thoughts of that poor girl you killed from your head. You wonder what she looked like as she died. Squirming, skewered in abject agony. I feel awful about that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk and stop myself from retching. Your body barely complies. You feel such rushes from your thoughts of the dead woman. Why did she die? The mystery gnaws at your pounding heart. Uh. Milady? <gasps> Jubilant day! I have found your vile self at last! Scleritus fell! Your loyal and ever adoring butler. My butler? I followed you, my dear rotted master. We have been parted so tragically long. <laughs> Uh, the fact that I have this guy as my butler makes me very concerned. <laughs> oh boy. What in the hell do you mean you're my butler? No, oh, one hell of a butler. The most unprincipled servant you could hope for. Great. You have always uh, struggled to conduct yourself properly without me. I found you following the stench of that bard. <sighs> she reeked across the coast like a piece of dog mark on the road. That is very rude. Did you cause me to kill her? Such fine work could never be done by a wretch like me. Hmm. Anyways, I come once again bearing a part of your dreadful inheritance. Is this clothing? Is this an outfit? Would this be bad for me if I wear it? You earned this iniquitous prize through your great show of exceptional violence the other night. I'm sure Master will be better soon. A fellow of your fine breeding is never down for long. <laughs> I cannot wait until your next act of shameless barbarity. I'm not interested in that anymore. Uh... You're going to tell me everything about my past life. Yeah, tell me, please. Though I would fill love me in. to regale you with your past triumphs. Uh, I cannot. Why not? I am forbidden to interfere. Our uh, debtors will not allow it. Hmm. Be true to yourself, my lady. Intriguing. I need to figure out what he gave me. Nice. The Deathstalker Mantle. Uh. Here it is. Rare. The Shadow Itself. Once per turn, when you kill an enemy, shroud yourself in primeval darkness to become invisible for two turns. 
Let hill and hollow be a door to screams that last forevermore. Well, it doesn't seem to have a curse effect to it, so I'll wear it. It's nice to have a little cape. We'll not complain about that. Capes are always fun. Um... Okay. Let's leave the camp. I would like to take on the fight again. We can skip this. You'd best have one head. Ah, the gods grant me. What is it? What's going on? That and you. All right, let's do this. I see you, Auntie Ethel. I know you're invisible there. I'm gonna dash right through you. Oh, nice. Kick her in the back of the head. <laughs> I don't think I can kill her outright, though. That's way too much health. Maybe I should just firebolt her, because she's gonna try to run away. Nice. And run inside, because those death caps are coming. The red caps are coming, sorry. Yeah, run in. Run in. That's fine. Get in here and Eldritch Blast! Here they come. Alright, she's leaving now. She dipped out. Your new friends. Bye bye. Bye. That can't have gone far. No, probably not. She went through in there. She went through in here, but I'll have to deal with that later after I deal with these. Now I'm sure I have some stuff I can throw, right? I don't know. One but day, I should prep. I'll catch a break. I should prep. Armor. Back off. Focus. Uh, we can back off for now. All my spells are back, which is good. These guys all have like 50 something health. That's really concerning. Okay. For some AoE. Nice. Missed. That's okay. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that was special. Nope. No luck on that. Good, but that's not enough. What? There's another one back there? Oh, they're all coming. Every single one. Do I even have AoE spells with this one? Maybe not. Stinking Cloud, Burning Hands? Nope. That's a cone spell. Okay, what can I do here? Guiding Bolt can probably kill that red cap. These red caps are tanky as hell. Might be a good idea to do the duplicity thing. You're not humanoid, okay. I can't hold you either because you're not humanoid. Just kill it. It didn't kill it. Nice.
This might be good. He saved. Dip out. Oh, he's trying to jump out. Okay, that's funny. Rude. The multi hits need to stop. The multi hits are very rude. They really need to stop. Critical hit. He fell over, which is good. Blinded. Nope. Oh, come on. I slipped on my own grease. Of course I did. Cure wounds on him. Take you. That didn't heal much at all. Push him. Nope. Can't always be a gentleman. No, not always. Seventy percent. Or I can ice knife him. No, that'll hit me too. That's bad. All right, burn the man. That really didn't do much. Ow. Okay. Can Will please move? Nope. Ow. No kidding. I kind of forgot that I should go out and deal with these red caps, you know, in advance so they don't all rush me at once. I am a fool. Ow. This is probably going to make me just fall over. So I'd rather do this. And then I can heal... Me. And then back off a little. Get them! They're still alive. Ow. Alright, I'm down again. Uh... This is so bad. So bad. Burning hands! Do it! Can I push you? Sort of. I can still heal myself from all the way back here. That's pretty good. Do it. I think that's it as far as my spells go though, yeah. Sacred Flame. Duplicity! Give myself advantage. Throw another knife at him. No, I think I should magic missile him. That does so little damage, though. Well, at least he wasted his attack. Uh, weakening strike will probably be good. Do less damage, please. I will heal up. Probably won't keep me alive. I'm still desperately dying. Can't do much here. I can move around, though. Or not. Well, I should back off, then. Yeah, back away, then. Oh, no. That's terrible. One health. Okay. I think it's time to use that scroll of web. 
Okay. I don't fancy their chances. Uh. Go. Ow, downed. Okay. Ow. Okay, downed. Uh oh. I mean, I can just help my teammates. Down, but not out. Correct. Too far away. That's okay. I can dip it in this. Okay. Should probably drink. Not enough movement. Ow. Okay, what can I do here? I'm not going to do enough to him. Cloud of daggers. Ray of sickness. Summon closet. Hmm. The topple is pretty low chance. I can't help her. That'll do. 20% is pretty low though, isn't it? Ow! Some healing for a wizard in need. Well, that was bad. I'm using all my healing potions. This is bad. Not happy about it. Ow! Help myself out. And I don't have enough to attack. Okay, I can kind of deal with this. I can I can attack him. I don't have enough a a reaction to actually do anything to him, so I'm just going to do this. He's still alive somehow. I don't like that. And I can't heal. I should get these wounds taken care of. Probably. Uh, concussive smash, 50% chance to hit, that's pretty low. 20% chance to hit, that's even worse. 55. But this might not do enough damage, so... Good. Good, it's something. Part of me is thinking I should drink more potions of healing. But I'm okay, I'll hide behind the corner. Okay. Cast it right there on top of them, please. Oh, I have to help him. We're basically just reviving each other over and over. Drink one. That's fine. That's his entire move. Uh, his entire move. So, fifty-five percent. Do it. Nice. Okay, well, we won the fight in the end. Everything is higher level than me, but that's okay. Uh, I still have a lot of healing potions, so it's not the worst thing in the world. And I can craft more if I need it. All of this is considered stealing, but she's not in the house anymore. So I don't see that as a problem.
Nice. Why did you have to walk into it? Are you crazy? How about you don't walk into it? Shadow Heart, please. Shadow Heart's actually crazy. Okay. Ooh. Scroll of Hold Person. Uh, you can hold on to that for now. Scroll for protection from evil and good. Everyone has that. I'll take that. Thank you. Supplement of Autumn Crocus. This airily sweet mist makes you lightheaded, feeling like you could reach for the sun. Potion of Featherfall. I can already know what that is. It's going to make me take less fall damage, so I'm not worried about it. The rest of this is going to be considered... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Stealing. I should probably still do it unless it knocks down approval. So I'm going to save and take a look and see how that goes. A Brush with Evil on Hags. Part of a series examining some of Faerun's more infamous creatures, this exploration on hags remains one of Soot's most popular books. Uh, wow, it's quite long. An excerpt from A Brush of, with Evil, on hags, written by Elizabeth M. Soot. It has been too long, dear readers, since we last sat together. I wish it was because I'd been traveling far and wide, working to bring you more tips and tricks on how to triumph over evil. Alas, this was not the case, for I fell prey to a green hag. Worry not, I am alive and well, but I have spent the last of my uh, last two years in her service. One day I will share what happened in that darkened cell, but not this day. Instead, I come to you with a warning. We have discussed hags before, uh, be they of night, green, or sea variety, and how they are not to be trifled with. But even with all my research, I never truly understood what it meant to encounter one. Evil beings, hags rely on magic, deceit, illusion, and even blackmail to lure their weapons or their victims in. I knew this. I repeated it many times to you, dear reader, but I did not realize their charm, their allure. I did not know I would come to love her, that I would yearn to please her. She strung me along, tempting me with my wildest dreams. I thought myself clever, that I would be able to outmaneuver her. I once bested a glabrazu. Surely I could handle a green hag, and she let me believe it until she strung her trap. Hags delight in suffering, priding themselves on creating new and inventive ways to torment those in their care, and while I have escaped, I spend every waking moment in fear that either her or one of her sisters will come for me. For a hag coven does not let even the smallest of slights go unpunished. And so, I rescind my previous guides to dealing with a hag, my suggestions for clever language and deceit. Instead, I offer these words should you ever encounter a hag. Run, and pray that she does not follow. Okay, no one's gonna judge me for this, right? We should probably do a do a quick rest, actually. Yeah, desperately needed that. that. Spot. Do you have any uh, AOE healing you can cast right now? No, we've already used up like basically everything we have available. Fair enough. Potion of great uh, greater healing, mine. Also mine. Letter from M. The letter begins with an elegant cursive, but ends in a harsh, sloping scrawl. Ethel, forces are wor at work in Baldur's Gate. The mewling wretches are trying to edge me out of my own territory. I've killed at least four of their agents. None have talked. Not yet, at least. I doubt you hear anything beyond the bleeding of your ridiculous sheep, but if you catch even a whisper, send word. Immediately. M. Okay. A toad teapot. Is not worth much. Incredibly lifelike, down to the last wart. Lovely. Might be useful. I'll take that. What is this? An arcane barrier. Was that there before? Probably, right? Hmm. Moving ahead. Anything of use? Apparently I hadn't looted this yet. Hello, red cap. Nope, you've got nothing on you. Uh hello, crew Inside. chest. Mine. You literally don't need any of this. I'll take all of this stuff. And that. Thank you for your alchemical ingredients. So this is an illusion. I feel like walking in would be bad. Yeah, I can't actually go in. Okay. 
he's just standing in it without any damage, so at least there's that going for us. Spoiled Triacle Tart. Ew, it's spoiled. So sweet you can barely taste the mold. It's it's a camp supply, I'll take it. Uh, potion of healing, potion of animal speaking, nice. Potion of greater healing. Mistress of Night and Friends. There was once a beautiful woman. Men and women alike traveled across the land to earn her hand in marriage. But none could win her heart. Her mother despaired, for she wished her daughter to find love and happiness. And then her mother died. The woman cried and cried. Her suitors ca stopped calling. Her friends stopped writing. And still she cried. You poor child, Shar whispered in her ear. They only wanted you for your beauty and for your charm and for your grace. Now that grief has replaced your charms, none care for you. None but I. The woman spoke to Shar, who listened. She prayed to Shar, who answered. And for the first time in her life, the woman had a true friend. And then Shar asked her to take a vial, a small vial, an innocent vial. She took the vial to a man. The man filled it with a liquid and told her to drop it into a well. The woman did. She wanted Shar to love her, to be proud of her. And then people became sick, people died. But Shar loved her, and the woman loved Shar. Now men and women alike travel across the land to see her. Not because she is beautiful, not because she is charming, but because she is the High Priestess of Shar, and her word is law. Oh, well, that's concerning. Okay, this cleaver, is it worth money? No, I don't want the table, I want the cleaver. Cleaver's worth a little money, it's gonna go to... you. Sell my stuff, please. Also, where did the, uh, the the sister go? She got sent to a cage. Oh, that's probably her out here. No, that's a coffin. Hmm. I'll take that. And that. Potion of invisibility. Turn invisible. You think this bottle was empty before the sound of sloshing liquid from within. I'll hold on to it. I don't know when I'll need it. Let's have a look at myself. Okay. Nope. Wooden chest. Emerald ring, just sell it. Take the gold. Lovely. I think that's everything in the cabin itself. I'll give it a shot. Oh, that's not not quite everything. Almost everything. Elixir of dark vision. Worthless to me. Give me that. He has key. Simple poison recipe. I have long wondered what, about whether to publish any malevolent concoctions I have encountered. Nickers convinced me with that damnable so uh, smile of his, but it is true that the life of an adventurer can be made safer through a good offense. Please use this res uh, recipe responsibly and do not cause any harm to other thinking creatures. Recipe for one vial of simple poison. Extracts needed, vitriol of bone cap, and ashes of dagger root. Sprinkle ashes over the vitriol. Do not stir. Cap the vial and wait until it exudes an acrid smell. And remember... Okay, it's the rule of three thing. Okay, got it. Rotten Tomato, I will not pick that up this time. Thank you. Butter bun. And bread. Oh, okay, so that's just food. Yeah, they're all camp supplies. Give me all of it. At least she had edible food in here. I don't know if hags need to eat or anything, but, you know. Okay. Okay. I feel wholly justified in robbing her. I picked up a crystal ball entirely by accident. Thank you. I have the key, it's fine. Okay, whatever is out here, that arcane barrier, I feel like I should let my mages my deal with that. What's next? You should probably get this. Let's quick save and go down. Let's look at this. What is it? How do I deal with it? Ow! Hands off, pedal. Death can't have me. Not yet. I know, I just took unnecessary damage. Still alive, so that's progress. 
I can't do anything with that arcane barrier right now, then. Hmm. If not over, then through. Rotten carrot. Don't need that. Don't want that. Anything of note back here, or no? Oh, camera, please. Despite everything. Okay, nothing of note. Hmm. What can I do about that, then? Not sure at this time. Maybe we'll find out at some point. So, is there anything I can do about this? Save Marina. If we follow her through the fireplace... Perhaps we'll find Marina. Okay, but how do I get through the fireplace? I don't have a ca I don't have a, a dispelling spell. Oh, I guess I can just touch the fireplace. I guess that's true. I might need to do a second rest though, given how low everyone's health still is. Okay, let me in. Okay. A way down into the, uh, underground. Arcane hunger. Oh, he needs food. That's fine. I'll give you one, and then maybe we'll do, uh, a heal. Ah, glad you have a moment for me. My, um, predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. That's fine. I've got I've options. Already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. Hmm. What will happen to this item when I give it to you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. I got your back. Give him a magic artifact. Um. Yeah, you can have the cap of curing. Who cares about that? Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's over his Oh, that's what the tattoos are for then, I guess. Oh. That hit the spot. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Well, I mean, as a Dark Urge, I do have my own demons to contend with, so it's fine. I understand. Um, I'm glad you're feeling better. Your condition, so uh, your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. Oh, it's not so bad once you get used to it. And, on the plus side, my tower in Waterdeep has never been so free of clutter. Fair. Mm. Sincerely, though. I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. I'm gonna hold you to that. Mm. Don't mention it, I'm glad I could help. My lady, I bow to your boundless kindness. The furrowed brow, it's like the shit. Don't look at what? Don't look, don't. Lauren. Okay, um, I think this is a good place to leave off. Um, not quite sure what I'm about to run into down here, so I guess I'm about to find out. I hope that you enjoyed what you saw here today, and that you're doing well wherever you are. This has been Karst with Baldur's Gate 3, and next time we're going to explore... whatever the hell this is on our pursuit for Auntie Ethel. Have a great day, thank you for watching, Bye bye